Hey guys, this is Coach Fajalski from Cousins Martial Arts. I'm the head instructor here in Saginaw. This is our virtual lesson number 16 for our little ninjas, ages five to seven. Okay, so let's start with feet together set. All right, martial arts begins and ends with respect. So we need a nice bow. Very good, okay? Now, repeat after me. Everybody say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. Say, I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. Say, I will use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. This is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are on a quest to be our best. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to win. All right, guys, let's get started with some fun for today, okay? So the very first thing we're gonna do is we gotta get warmed up, all right? So we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do something called lumberjacks, okay? So we're gonna get kind of like into our horse stance right here. I want you to take your hands and I want you to clasp them together just like this, okay? Now we're gonna pretend that we're a lumberjack and we got a really big ax, okay? So we're gonna go over our shoulder and then we're gonna swing that ax down. Over the shoulder, ax down. And every time that we bring that ax down, I want you to bend your knees, okay? All right, so let's do these together, ready? Down, up, down, up, that's one. Down, up, down, up, that's two. Down, up, down, up, that's three. Down, up, down, up, four. Up, down, and that's five. Nice work, okay? Now, the other warm up that we're gonna do, we're gonna do something called a half plank jack, okay? A full plank jack is really tough. So we're gonna start off easier with a half plank jack, okay? So for a plank jack, we're gonna get down, we're gonna put our feet out straight behind us. We're gonna come down right down on our elbows, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna spread our legs apart and bring them back together, okay? Once again, so you can see it from a different angle, my arms are together, I'm gonna go out and back, okay? We are gonna do 10 of these, all right? We gotta do them quick, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good job. All right, so let's move on to our first combo for today, all right? So let's get back in our guard stance, okay? So we're gonna start off with a rear deflect. We're gonna use that rear hand. We covered a deflect before, but for a quick little review, when we do a deflect, we keep our elbow down, our hand up, our fingers face us, and we bring it right across in front of us, okay? It's used if somebody tries to punch us in the body, if they try and throw an uppercut, or if they try and throw a front kick at us, that deflect comes in a lot of handy, okay? So, right from our guard stance, okay? We're gonna go right from here. We're gonna do that rear deflect. Then we're gonna come back with a hook, and then a cross, another hook, and then follow it up with a good rear kick, okay? All right, so let's try and do this together, ready? So deflect, hook, cross, hook, rear kick. All right, let's try again, ready? Deflect, hook, cross, hook, rear kick. All right, last one, best one. Ready? Deflect, hook, cross, hook, rear kick. Nice job, okay? I wanna hear those nice loud kias from you guys too at home, okay? All right, so let's get to our first fun drill, all right? First fun drill we're gonna do, we're gonna do some switch kicks, okay? So, for our switch kicks, switch kicks, right from here, we get into our guard stance. Coach says switch, we switch our feet, right? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty easy, isn't it? But, I wanna see how fast you can do those switches. Okay, so I'm gonna call out a number. I want you to do that many switches and follow it up with your best rear kick and a nice, loud Kia. Okay, ready, set, five. One, two, three, four, five, boom! There we go, 
Ready? Three, one, two, three, boom, yeah. Now we're moving, ready? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Ugh. yeah. All right, let's see. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Ugh. All right, last one. Ready? Twelve. Mm, yeah, nice work, guys. Nice work. I want to see how fast you can do those switch kicks, okay? All right, so let's lock it up, okay? Have a seat. Today, for our mat chat, we are going to talk about truth and procrastination, okay? So, let's say mom comes up to you and asks you, hey, have you taken care of your homework yet? Now, we should be honest about that, shouldn't we? That's right, okay? We should tell the truth, okay? Right when we get home from school, we probably haven't done our homework. So, mom asks you, hey, why don't you take care of your homework right now, all right? If you agree with them, yeah, okay, I can do my homework now, okay? That's very important. We're taking care of our responsibilities. But, I also mentioned a really long word at the beginning called procrastination. We might think, wait a second, I've got plenty of time later to take care of that homework. I wanna go play now, okay? So maybe you sit down, you watch some TV, I'll get to that homework later, all right? Okay, but then one show, two shows, four shows, and it's dinner time. Well, you can't do your homework while you're eating dinner. So eat your dinner, okay, oh, kids come over and wanna go play. And you go play with them, and next thing you know, you gotta come in for the night, and it's bedtime, and you still have not done your homework. So, we did something called procrastination. Procrastination is where we put things off, and we say, I can take care of those later. But the problem is, if we continue to procrastinate, we continue to put them off, we might not have time to take care of them by then. So, it's very important that we take good responsibility and take care of those things ahead of time, and we'll have all the time we need after that to do whatever we'd like, okay? All right, that TV will still be there. That tablet will still be there. But if you run out of time for that homework, you're gonna be staying up really late or you're not gonna get it done. And you told mom that you'd take care of it, didn't you? Did you tell the truth then? No, if you don't get it taken care of, you haven't told the truth, okay? Now, it may not seem like a big deal, oh, I didn't get my homework done, but it's important to remember that trust is a very fragile thing. Mom trusted you to take care of your homework, all right? And if you don't take care of that, mom might not trust you later on. And trust takes a long time to regain once you've gotten rid of it, okay? All right, so that's very important that we have good honesty, we have good responsibility, we don't procrastinate when it comes to the things we know need to be taken care of. All right, okay, does that sound good guys? Okay, let's get back to some fun, all right? So we're gonna do some hop over kicks, okay? So for this, you can either have a line on the ground or you can put down a pillow, okay? So I'm gonna grab one of these pads right here. I'm gonna put this down right there, right in the middle, okay? So for our hop over kicks, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over the pad, hop back, and then we're gonna throw a front kick, okay? Now, it's about how quickly can we do this? We have to have good coordination and good balance for those hops, but we wanna do it as fast as possible, okay? So I wanna hop forward, hop backwards, and then throw my front kick, okay? So we're gonna do some of these. I'm gonna say go. You gotta hop over, hop back, and throw that kick as fast as you can. Ready? Go. 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 Nice job, okay? Now, I'd like to see you do that with both legs, okay? Okay, we can't just kick with the leg we like the most. We gotta be able to kick with both legs, okay? So, that's our hop over kicks, all right? 
Now we're gonna move on to our last combo for today. So let's get back in our guard stance. We're gonna do a jab, rear uppercut, hook, rear kick. Okay, so right from here, jab, uppercut, hook, and rear kick. Ready? Jab, uppercut, hook, rear kick. A little faster, jab, uppercut, hook, rear kick. Two more, jab, uppercut, hook, rear kick. All right, let's put them all together. Make it your very best one, okay? Ready? Jab, uppercut, hook, rear kick. Nice work today, guys, nice work. So let's finish up with some stretches, okay? Now that our body's worked out really well, we can get a couple stretches in, help our muscles relax a bit, and make sure they're more flexible too, okay? So very first thing we're gonna do, let's get down. Right here, we can put our feet out in front of us. All I want you to do is we're gonna do a hip twist. You're gonna just reach over, try and turn yourself all the way around, okay? As far as you can. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, other side. We're gonna get both sides, okay? So twist, twist, twist. There you go, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, nice job. Okay, now we're gonna do something called a hurdler stretch, okay? So right from here, see how I got both of my feet out in front of me? I'm gonna put one of my feet behind me. So I'm gonna take this leg, sweep it back here, okay? My other foot's still up in front of me. I wanna reach down towards that foot, okay? I'm gonna reach down towards that foot. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now, switch your feet, okay? We gotta get both sides. Make sure both legs are nice and flexible, okay? Reach down towards that foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, nice work. Okay, now, we also need to stretch out our arms. We got our legs nice and stretched out. We're gonna stretch our arms. So let's bring this arm across, okay? Keep it nice and straight. I want you to grab right at the elbow, actually. Pull that in, okay? Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Other side, you gotta get both arms, okay? So pull on that elbow right towards you. Five, four, three, two, one, nice work, nice work. Okay, last one we're gonna do. This one's a little different, okay? We're gonna lay down on our backs, okay? You're gonna put your hands out beside you. We're gonna take one knee and we're gonna go over the top. We wanna bring that knee as cross as far as we can, okay? All right, you should feel a stretch right down in here. Ready? Try and keep your hands back on the floor too. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Other side, other side, last one, okay? All the way around, there you go. Keep those hands on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work today, little ninjas. All right, so I hope you guys are having fun with our virtual lessons. I hope you guys stay safe and healthy out there too, okay? So until I see you next time, make sure you take care of each other and yourselves. Have a great day, guys.